This is hydrogen tap. The last video showed the pulse system tube that I've been working with and all the problems I've had putting it together sealant wise. Now filling it again I used aquarium cement on the bottom of it finally. Had a lot of suggestions come through the emails about how I could seal this unit. I wanted not to have to seal it like I'm doing. I wanted to be able to take it apart and I have other ideas that I can use. The problem was that this tube I'm using here is not cut, precision cut, so I can't make a good seal. So I had to use aquarium glue on the bottom. As you can see, it seems to be holding. We've got a lot of pressure on it right now. But in just one moment, you're going to see another stupid problem. In keeping with hydrogen tap strategy, I'll make the stupid mistake so you don't have to. If we don't share the mistakes, we don't learn. If you look very closely at the bottom, you're going to see slight shadow appearing. The caddy that's holding the two plates together has a screw coming in the bottom which holds it tight against the plastic frame. Look at the, you can see the shadow growing now. I forgot to seal it. The screw's in really tight so it's the amount of pressure that's causing this. You can see the shadow growing now. There's no water coming out around the side. That's all sealed, the seal held. But if you look on the bottom now, you can see the shadow coming out even more. There's no water coming out there at all. But on the bottom, I cannot believe I forgot to seal that. There's the caddy. And there's the drip. Great. I want so much to get this part of the system tested. That was really heavy water there. If you look close, you can see where the screw goes in on the bottom right there. I did it right and then forgot to seal it. I can't believe I did that. Well, now you can see did I show you everything? If you want to email me that uh, I'm not too smart, don't do that. If you want to email me that you've made mistakes before, that would be great. That would make me feel better. Right now, I'm not feeling too smart. There's the screw. I'll give you a better position look at it in a second. There you go. What a stupid mistake. And I even waited uh, 48 hours to dry the cement that the tube's sitting on. There's a good view of the, the screw that's holding the plate caddy. Anyway, that's not keeping me from going on with the pull system. The pull system, I'll have another video up, hopefully tonight, showing the work I've got on that side of it. Had a lot of emails asking about 
the pulse system working with the 3LR1000. If the pulse system works on this test bed, it should work with the 3LR1000. There's the unit upside down, so I can repair it. If you want to check hydrogentap.com, you can see a lot more information on Myers system. Check it uh, periodically and you'll see more information that I put up there. I'm putting plumber's goop on the bottom of it, pushing it in, and hopefully that should seal the unit. I'll let it sit for a couple of hours. This does not take very long. And then we'll start it again.